All right, we've got time for a quick look at the viewer's voice. Renee with a question about earthquakes and insurance. With all the earthquakes happening, I was just wondering how many people in Dallas have earthquake coverage on their homes. I think it's something you have to add to your policy. Most people don't, I bet. Yeah, not many do. I called around about $300 a year to a rider to add. Remember, the geology experts, though, say a, a so-called big one will likely never hit in North Texas. Next, road crews were out last night treating freeways and overpasses with a brine mixture, salt and water. Some, uh, is, there is uh, some chance for a rugged weather ahead. Jack in Greenville says this, I know it's cheaper, but I don't want salt on my undercarriage in my cars. Have you ever looked at the cars and trucks from up north? They are rust buckets. I own one of those. Lastly, as far as our story about the near shooting, the shoot, don't shoot decision, uh, that we showed you last night where an officer made a split second decision not to shoot when he went out on a call of a teenager with a gun. Here's the email we got tonight. You should be ashamed of this propaganda piece you just aired about the kids with the fake gun. You've just given police more reason to believe that they have no responsibility to do their job and de-escalate the situation. You are fueling belief that it is always the victim's fault when they are murdered by police. Shame on you. That's from Teresa. Teresa. We got plenty of other emails. I mean, hundreds and hundreds supporting that from police, from parents of teenagers, saying, boy, it was good the way it turned out. It was a good lesson. They were able to tell their kids and have them watch that video and how you need to follow officers' commands. All right, so let me hear from you. 214-720-3103 or send an email. Click about us, then contact us at fox4news.com.